The Supreme Court's rejection of race-conscious college admissions, it left a lot of students wondering what their future just might hold. But one debate program is beginning to make sure that students of color have access to educational opportunities at prestigious universities. Lainey Broussard brings us the story from Harvard's campus. Yeah, three responses to our framing. If I can defeat all of them, then we win this debate. It's a moment these students won't soon forget, debating on one of the biggest stages in the nation, Harvard University. The Veritas School of Social Sciences teaches black and brown 8th to 11th graders the art of debate. Formerly known as the Harvard Diversity Project, the program's goal is to create more diversity on Harvard's campus. Just $9,000 is not enough to sustain these students. They, were they meet every Saturday in Atlanta, all in preparation for a two-week summer residency at Harvard and to eventually compete in an international debate tournament. But they don't just come to learn, they come to win. In fact, they've dominated, winning the title for five consecutive years, beating more than 100 students from all over the world. This year was no different. It was a 4-3 for the pro. For the first time, the two teams in the final round were made up of Veritas scholars. I am so, I'm so excited. I did not see that vote coming, and I'm just so proud of myself and of my partner, but also of our opponents. Osazi Al-Khalik, a Veritas alum and the first in the program to actually graduate from Harvard this past spring, said the experience is about more than just winning. Most of the students of colors who I work with are dissuaded from even applying to schools like Harvard. It was through that program that I even got the exposure uh, to be in proximity to Harvard. It, it reaffirmed that that is possible. However, this academic exposure for students of color seemed to be in jeopardy. Students said the Supreme Court decision to curb affirmative action in higher education directly affected them while being on campus. They experienced uh, some people referring to them as the affirmative action kids. But what I love about our students is their resiliency and the way in which they took that, um, corrected people when necessary, but also used it to propel them to a win. Hamilton Henderson, one of the students who competed in the final round said this year's win wasn't just about securing the title. It was about them proving that providing underrepresented students with educational opportunity is a win for everyone. Anything that black and brown students have not achieved is not due to ability, it's only due to access. And projecting this win to the world um, shows that when you give students of color access um, in any space, they can dominate. Reporting from Cambridge, I'm Lainey Broussard.